After you're done with the sketch, you can begin the oil pastel portion. This is what you'll need. You'll need little oil pastels, orange and black, and maybe green if you decided to do the lily pads like we did in the previous drawing. So I'm just gonna take all of the space and outline. I can start in the middle if I want, and I just glide my crayon or my oil pastel on the lines that I created. Go around the entire koi fish. the end and then you're going to do all the little details. I'm just going to show you one side so we can speed things up. And you can create a few lines more if you'd like. I've tried my hardest to go over those lines but that's okay. If I want to add a little extra bump or I want to add little bumps on the top of this scale, you can do that. But not too squiggly. Sometimes it looks nice, nice and plain. There we go. All right, I'll show you some fins on this side. Again, using my oil pastel and I'm drawing with it. I'm not coloring it in. We're going to color it in with watercolor later. This is kind of acting like the outline and you can feel on it, it's a little raised up. If you have really good sense of feel, you can feel it gives a little texture. It almost acts like a little space for the watercolor to sit. So that's the orange part, and you can add black if you want, but I would go a little easy on it. I'm gonna color in his eyes to make those define. I might do the top here, and maybe outline just the top of the fin. The, I mean the top fin this darker color to give a little more depth. I'm gonna add just at the tops of my fin a little idea of black, just to give some Make it a little bit dramatic. Maybe at the end of my tail. I mean the beginning of the back of the tail. There. With your orange you can draw a few scales. I'm not gonna go too many. We don't have time to make our whole fish scaly. This is called gesture drawing. When you just give an idea that the, the fish is covered in scales by just giving a few gives an idea that he has tons and tons of scales. There. I'm gonna stop there. When you get to the oil, the watercolor portion, when you do that, we're gonna do a lot of a technique called wet on wet. So I'm gonna start with my fish, my koi fish. Where did my brush go? Oh, here we go. I can start with the paint. You can see the paint right for the water. Start with just the water and add a little bit of water right onto your fish without even paint on it. I'm just going to do a little spot at a time like that. Then I'm going to dip it again and add orange. I'm going to start with my lighter colors. I'm going to mix orange and you can drop it right in there and you can see the paint expands in the water. Pretty cool. You can kind of move it around if you'd like or you can add more to it. But do all your orange first in different spots. You can always leave some spots white if you like because koi fish are white, orange, black, red, yellow, I've seen. And then you can move on to different spots. So that's one technique called wet on wet. You can paint right onto it and spray your paint around a little bit. I really enjoy that look because I think it looks so neat. You can spread your water out a little bit and continue to add more. If you want to get orange, a, more of an orange yellow color, you can always add a little bit of yellow to it. Of course, do the lighter colors first, and then if you decide you want a little black, move to black. I'm using kind of a medium sized brush with this. And over this part, you don't have to be so, so careful. I just kind of brush it right on there at mixing my water and my paint together. And you can always drop a few pieces in there. Sometimes koi fish have some neat spots to them. There we go. Maybe that one's gonna be lighter. Maybe this one's gonna have more orange. So after you're done deciding where that goes and you'd, you'd want to add black, this is an option. You can always add black. This part is still really water. I'm gonna add a little black and see what happens. Ooh, pretty neat. And I can just kind of move my brush around. You see how the scales are reappearing? Pretty neat. 
can even add a little black onto the tail. This is your koi fish, so you get to decide where his spots go and where the orange goes, where the black goes. And I'll add that into it. So again, I'm using wet on wet. I added water right here, and now I'm gonna add the black. Maybe he has little spots. Maybe there's a few black spots in the orange. Have fun with your koi fish. And you can color all your fins. You don't have to be so, so careful. When this part's done, you're gonna use a larger brush for the water, and you're gonna use that same thing called wet on wet. I have only a little brush with me today, but I will show you a little portion. I like to get a whole little panel wet with lots of water. I'm dripping my water on here. And you have really strong paper, so it should hold it. And then you can add your blue paint. Get a lot of water in there, get a lot of it in there. And look at that, so neat. You can really get some really cool underwater effects. Remember, you can do that and you can move it around if you want. You can add to it by adding more paint on it. You can add green. Green's this color we see underwater. Pretty neat. And you can help the water move over if you like, going around the fish. Maybe the water needs to come over here. I'm pushing it with my brush. And when you need to make a new portion, just add more water. Again, this part, use a bigger brush. I'm not using the best brush for this technique. But you can add your colors in there. Maybe this is getting more green over here. I'd even like to add a little purple. These are all kind of like cold tones, like the water is cold. It's pretty interesting looking, right? So have fun with your greens, your blues, and your purples for the water. You're going to go all the way around your fish with this. If you did draw a lily pad, you can use a green oil pastel to outline it if you like. Maybe black to add some interest. Maybe you created some lines. You could go over your lily pad with your lines. And then when you put the watercolor over it, it's going to give you a neat look. Again, wet. Wet your paper first so that the water has something to mix with. The paint has something to mix with. I'm going to use yellow first and then I'm going to layer it with green. Let's see what happens. Ooh, very cool. Cool. I'm going to add some green now, and you can see how that oil pastel repels the water and shows through, giving a pretty neat look. Hope you have fun with your koi fish.